subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. The iPhone 6S Plus versus the iPhone 8 Plus iOS 12 speed test. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up in three, two, one and see which one can get there first now the reason i'm making this comparison is quite interesting i was actually getting ready to do like a multiple iphone comparison with the plus models but i just started testing the two-year-old iphone 6s plus versus the 8 plus to get started and i was really surprised at how well it performed on ios 12 you've seen the 8 plus wins on the boot up but only slightly i was blown away at how much faster it got over iOS 11. You're gonna see in this video, it's almost identical performance to the iPhone 8 Plus. Okay guys, so the first thing I noticed was how similar they were on the lock screen and basically any type of response, including the fingerprint. You can see the 6S Plus actually went there first, three, two, one, and looks like the 6S Plus is unlocking it first, even though they have the same Touch ID second generation. So that's pretty impressive here for this two-year-old device. Now, in terms of the camera, you can see they go in very similarly. It looked like the 6S Plus won that one too, and very close here. So this is what I'm saying. It was immediately noticeable how much a performance improvement you get on the 6S Plus from iOS 11 to iOS 12 in comparison to like the later A11 CPU iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, so you can see iOS 12 here for the 6S Plus on the left here, and then we have iOS 12 here for the iPhone 8 Plus. Now, both of these do have a maximum battery capacity of 100%. So if you're gonna say, well, you're getting peak performance throttling on your 8 Plus or whatever, or the 6S Plus, that's not happening on either one of these phones as they're both at the maximum capacity. Let me go over here to the iPhone 8 Plus to show you that, and let's go ahead and test these apps. Okay, guys, so here we are. We've arrived at the app portion. You can see everything is closed out, beginning with calendar, and look at that, exactly, basically, the same coming home is even very similar let's go into calculator you can see identical performance there let's go into clock you can see opening them at the same exact time basically let's go into twitter and you can see twitter does open first on i don't think it's gonna, oh the success plus there on twitter so both are connected to the same wi-fi network so there should be no advantages to the iphone 8 plus going into snapchat you can see that that is a win on the left for the iphone 6s plus and the 8 plus loads that a little bit second let's go into instagram and you can see instagram about even so this is what i'm talking about i mean this performance was pretty impressive for your two-year-old phone here whatsapp you can see oh that was pretty close again let's go into youtube and you can see youtube is open first on the left so again this is what i'm saying like if you have a 6s plus and you were thinking about upgrading to the 8 plus now that the price is coming down don't upgrade just for the speed because this is not a huge difference at all coming home let's go into amazon and you can see amazon is open first on the right this time for the 8 plus but for those of you who decided to hold off on the 8 plus and getting the max now I think you made the right choice here and you could see that one was pretty close there for the eBay but I think the 6s plus was ahead now gaming the 6s plus I haven't found it to be faster than the 8 plus here's where the 8 plus starts to pull ahead so if you were going to be upgrading to one of these like the 6s plus to the 8 plus go for the gaming stuff go for that more hardcore CPU stuff like the iMovie you know rendering things like that and getting a better camera the true tone display that's what you're really getting the better battery life that's what you're really getting in the upgrades for the iPhone 8 plus let's go into dead trigger 2 and you can see a more graphically intensive game and very similar load times there, hit and play. And it looks like the 8 Plus might be ahead here, and it is. So once you're in the game, not a big difference. However, the 8 Plus managed to stay cooler in actual gaming and does load things faster. So in gaming, I do find the 8 Plus to be a winner, but gaming is something not everybody does every day. And I think if you went from a 6S Plus right now on the current iOS 12, you'd be hard pressed to see the differences in speed. Going to Geekbench, you can see almost identical performance here. And one can argue maybe it's two gigs of RAM. Is that all iOS needs maybe? No, we want that four gigs of RAM in the 10s Max. So let's head into Video Shop. And you can see that one went to the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's go into, actually we're gonna do the cameras a little bit different because I wanna see them cameras. Three, two, one.
And you can see, I think the 6S Plus was ahead. This is pretty shocking. Three, two, one, and about the same. So I guess it comes down to how fast you tap it. Whatever, 70% increase. I'm definitely feeling that here for the iPhone 6S Plus when it comes to the camera opening times. But you've seen right here, basically identical performance except for a couple of games and slightly more graphically intensive dead trigger Two, I think if you did like an iMovie render or something like that, the A plus would pull ahead, but not by too much of a margin. So this goes to show how well optimized the iOS 12 has become on phones like the iPhone 6S Plus if you had some issues on iOS 11. All right, so I wanna run through them backwards to see if we get any reloads. Here's where we can test that three gigs of RAM versus that two gigs of RAM, and I'm not seeing nothing so far, Geekbench. Let's go into Slither. And how I got this idea was I was actually just playing around with the 6S Plus to kind of test that iOS 12 out. And I was noticing how fast it was. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just test it up against the 8 Plus. And I was doing this prior to making the video on the test. And I was like, whoa, this is ridiculous. Like, I just got this 8 Plus like a year ago and got the 6S Plus a while back, like two years ago. And this thing is about the same speed. So definitely the 6S Plus was built to last, as you can see right here. And I would even argue that when the 10S Max comes, it's not gonna be like killing it in the performance versus the 6S Plus. That's how good the iOS 12 is. But if you wanna see that comparison, stay tuned to the channel. You've seen basically no reloads on either. Okay guys, so quick internet test here. Let's test out apple.com, three, two, and let's go. Let's see which one gets there first. You can see, I don't know what's going on with the A plus today, but it seems like the 6S plus is just feeling faster today. So let's go into yahoo.com and just a popular mainstream website to see which one could load it up first on Safari three, two, one. And you can see that was pretty close here on both devices. So web browsing experience going to be pretty much the same on either phone. So I mean, this is what I'm saying. The 6S Plus has a nice performance bump in iOS 12. Okay, so for those of you who wanted the Geekbench scores, easily the 8 Plus is crushing the 6S Plus in these Geekbench scores, but that doesn't prove that it's crushing in the real world as you've seen today in this test. So I think the conclusion of this video is that if you have a 6S Plus definite update, go ahead and do it if you skipped it out already the 8 plus of course you want to do it because it just keeps it staying fast both phones are very fast the 8 plus is technically definitely more powerful when it comes to gaming it will be more powerful in video rendering and some artificial intelligence things some ai stuff is a little faster and it's definitely more future proof but as it stands right here in 2018 if you wanted to hold off on an upgrade because you just didn't want to buy a new iphone at this time i think the 6s plus is still going to hang in there one or two years and that's pretty impressive for a phone that now has a older processor a9 cpu versus you would think when you see it on paper the a12 bionic oh my god the 6s plus still performs rather well but if you guys want to see any more comparisons between the plus models because i do have the 6 plus that needs to be updated to 12 also the 7 plus let me know down below or some battery comparisons between them i will consider making those and anyway if you found this video helpful entertaining enjoying informing do me a favor click that like button for me and stay tuned for the 10s video